Hey, what's guys? Go back to my channel. It's coming. And yes, yeah. so let's talk about the news. Uh, hopefully, you guys had a great Christmas and also a happy new year. So, Kanye is uh, back on the news again, but uh, this time he's apologizing again. So the apology was a tweet. Uh, he tweeted on Hebrew, and, you know, I, I can't read that shit. So uh, there's already a translation. I sincerely apologize to the Jewish community for any unintended outburst caused by my own words or actions. It was not my intentions to hurt or demean, and I deeply regret any pain I may have caused. I am committed to starting with myself and learning from this experience to ensure greater sensitivity and understanding more in my in the future. Your forgiveness is important to me, and I am committed to making amends and promoting unity. So yeah, Kanye has apologized. And I think that's a pretty worthy apology. Hey, all right, it's okay, Kanye. We forgive you. <laughs> yeah, fucking right. How many times does a motherfucker apologize and then went off after that apology? So yeah, I don't think anybody believes this shit. <laughs> I don't believe this shit, all right? Like, I still think he hates them. And he's just saying this because, you know, probably he was pressured by somebody. And, you know, he's just saying this to, you know, say, oh, see, guys, I, I, I apologize. And they don't accept it. So that means my hatred on Jews is justified. No, no, Kanye. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> now, listen. If he does really meant what he said, then, yeah, he's going to have to wait a long-ass time to, you know, to heal this fucking wound. Because a wound doesn't heal seconds after you apologize. Like, wh who are we dealing with? Wolverine? Now, if you need some context, uh, why did he apologize again? Well, p uh... I haven't really covered this because I kind of missed this out and, you know, I was like, ah, it's already too late. I, there's no point of talking about it. There's already, like, hundreds of videos. But, you know, I might as well, since I'm here, <laughs> let's talk about uh, what happened more than a week ago. So it was on Instagram Live. Someone was live. It wasn't his official uh, live stream. It was someone else's. He was in some type of house, like, showing off his uh, new music, hinting that, yo, yeah, yeah, album's coming, guys. So, yeah. On the stream, he was talking about the Jews again. But the thing was, instead of calling them Jews, he called them Zionists. Because he knows the genocide right now, what's happening with uh, Israel and Palestine. He knows that, oh man, people are, you know, are against Zionists. Well, instead of calling them Jews, I call them Zionists. But in reality, you know, I'm, I'm, t I'm really talking about Jews. He probably thought, like, Gen Z was that dumb enough to think, oh, when I say Zionists, oh, I really meant Zionists, not not Jews. It's like, no, we, we see right through you. We all know what you meant. And also, you just praised Hitler after you said that. You said... Jesus Christ, Hitler, yay. Like, what the fuck list is this? Like, if this is the list of goats for you, why did you put Hitler right next to Jesus and you? So yeah, we all know what you meant when you said Zionist, all right? Like, no one's stupid here. Only, only you. <laughs> and then he talks about how, like, Jews are ma making these hospitals and abortion clinics. And he made this connection, like, oh, who's the ones that are making these abortion clinics? And who are doing the most abortions? Black people. Jews are killing black people. It's like, oh my, oh my god. So yeah, it's all just horrible stuff. It's all anti-Semitism. He's looking at this genocide and thinking, oh, wait a minute, this is my opportunity to get the people back on my side, you know? If I just switch my words up and say the same anti-Semitic talking points then, you know, people won't really notice that I'm being anti-Semitic. No. People that are against Israel isn't against them because they're Jewish. They are against the Zionists that are committing a genocide on the Palestinians that are occupying their lands and preventing them from forming their own state, their own autonomy. Now, I don't think Kanye is going to repeat the same thing that I'm saying, all right? He's probably going to say, I hate the Jew, I mean, Zionists because they took money out of me. That's why I'm free Palestine. No, 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 you're not. <laughs> you're not the same team as me, all right? Shut up. So yeah, let's just wait and see if Kanye actually meant it. Let's see what he does after this. So, Def Punk has released a new album. Now, don't get too excited, all right? I know what you're thinking. It's not a new album, all right? It's called Random Access Memory drumless edition so i listened to it and yeah it's the same album without the drums <laughs> it's what the title says um it's not bad but man they just released a 10 year anniversary version like it's still 2023 it's december they couldn't wait for like a month and, and releases at least until 2024 now, I did a little bit of research, and it seems like the artist Def Punk, I don't know their names, <laughs> I'm just going to call them Def Punk, but it seems like they're not the ones that made this idea. It was actually the label, so uh, yeah. Now listen, my only problem about this album is, uh, you know, re-listening to it, still a great album. I love it. 
But like, you know, I just wish they did more than just remove the drums. It's like, you know, removing the drums is actually pretty noticeable. It's like, wait a minute. I never noticed this instrument in this song. So it's like, all right, it, it's actually a pretty noticeable difference. But like, they couldn't add something to replace with the drums? Because, you know, the drums is a piece of instrument that was heavily used in the album. So they couldn't like replace it with something else, you know? It's like making a TV show, removing the main character and having the actors pretend like the main character doesn't exist. It's like, wait, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, sure, I like all these side characters, but like the main character, like I, I can't hear his dialogue. So it's like, what, what the fuck is his story? Like I'm listening to the songs. I'm like, yo, they could put some more echoes. They could put some more reverbs, maybe another instrument, something. Like, yo, this is the most least effort I've ever heard. So, and it's sad coming from this album. So, yeah. Now I know I'm a little bit late, but I watched The Boy in Heron, and I thought. It was a pretty good movie. Now, this isn't one of his greatest of all time. This is not touching Spirit Away, uh, My Neighbor Totoro, Ponyo, uh, Castle in the Sky. It's not an S-tier Studio Ghibli movie, you know? I could see some people putting in an A, but for me personally, I gotta put it in the B. The biggest issue about the movie is the pacing. I thought it was pretty slow. Now, I enjoyed it, but it was like, wait a minute. We go to this different world now? <laughs> like, there's a second world they gotta go, but it's like, wait a minute. So, you you wasted our time by making this movie slow. Like, there's a lot of fat in the beginning. They could've cut that shit off. And my biggest issue about the movie is when they go to this new world, it felt rushed. Like, these are the same guys that made Spirit Away. Like, 10 minutes they stay in this old world, setting up the story, and then BAM! New world. In here, it was a lot of watching people walk, stare, and think. So you guys couldn't reduce the time that we spend just staring at them, doing nothing, you know, to make it a snappier movie. I don't know, man. It, it, it kind of felt like Miyazaki is just flexing like, hmm, y'all thought I lost it, huh? Look at this. Look how beautiful this shit is. And yes, the movie is beautiful, man. Like, I saw this shit in IMAX. Amazing experience, man. Like, this is the first IMAX that I finally get a seat in the center. And my God, like you, you felt you feel like you're in the world because the screen is so big. And when I mean big, I don't mean like, oh, they just zoomed the movie and made it big. No, it's like it's like it's like um, playing on PC with an ultra wide. But except here, it's big on all sides. So it's like you get more context. You get more of the screen in the movie. Now, the voice acting. I thought that everybody did a great job. You know, like Christian Bale, I thought it was funny because it, like this guy is supposed to be Japanese. Why does he have a Brooklyn accent? <laughs> now, who I thought had an amazing performance was Robert Patterson. Like, bro, this guy, every movie he's been, he's just been amazing. Like, it's a, it's as if he chose to finally be, like, the GOAT actor. <laughs> like, it, 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 that's what it seems like. It, it, he just went overdrive. It's like, ever since after Twilight, it was like, all right, it's time to be the best actor of my generation. When you hear him talk, you're like, no, that's... That's not him. <laughs> That's not him. What the fuck? He actually sounds like Willem Dafoe. And funny enough, Willem Dafoe is also in this movie too. But yeah, it, it's 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 funny to think that Robert Patterson, you know, he only worked with Willem Dafoe once. And just by one movie, he mimics him so well. He's probably in the set with him like, yo, I am working one of the best actors of all time. I have to sound like him. So yeah, overall, pretty good movie. You know, I appreciate that it's hand-drawn. You know, this is a Miyazaki film. You know, he's not, he's that man is never going to use a fucking computer for anything. So <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. And yeah, you will notice it. And it, it is beautiful beautiful my score for this movie would be a seven and a half out of ten so amazon video will be having ads uh, i know some of you guys are probably thinking who cares you know that's just an option well if you got an amazon prime you now have ads now if you don't want ads well it's gonna cost an extra three dollars to remove those ads so yeah i'm not the biggest fan of ads you know like i i fucking hate ads but I, I will say, like, there is a difference between, I don't know, like, ads on TV and then ads on the internet, you know? It just feels, I don't know, I think TV just feels natural, you know? Like, it doesn't feel like it's annoying. In some channels, the ads are longer than the movie. <laughs> like, yeah, bro, I remember, I remember watching a movie. I'm like, yo, hey, yo, what the fuck? 
this movie is like four hours long, but in reality it's two. Well, that's because <laughs> they're cramming as much ads as they can between every ad break. But when I see an ad on like, I don't know, on a streaming service or in YouTube or any other like platform, it's like, yo, why does it feel annoying? Like, why does it feel, why, why do I just hate it here? So yeah, hated ads since I was a kid. Uh, I begged my parents to get Netflix because, you know, no ads. And also I can watch it on my phone. And also it was around the time where it was like, you know what? I'm watching more stuff from the internet than on TV. You know, it's like I have Netflix, I got YouTube. I I don't really need TV. Like I was kind of low key to asking my parents, like, you know what, you could take away TV from me. You know, I just keep the internet. But around that time, there was no option. <laughs> there was no like option, no package for like only internet uh, without any cable. You know, back in the days, it was just only like two subscription, you know, uh, services. It was just Hulu and Netflix, you know, and that was way cheaper than cable. But nowadays, there's more subscription services, you know, like companies want to make their own services and put their own movies in those services instead of like sharing to either Netflix or Hulu, you know, the, 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 the top dogs, you know, and usually their services is like, you, you ain't got nothing. <laughs> you only got that show you made 20 years ago that was really good. And maybe some other shows that I saw some clips from TikTok, you know? I'm just going to use this free trial and that's it, you know? I'm just going to cancel you. Just going to binge that show. So yeah, they're getting more expensive. But you can always get the cheaper version, which is the ad version. Which I hate. Like, I, I, I fucking hate ads. You know, I'm just like, alright. Either I don't have a service or I do. I'm willing to pay a premium price for a premium experience, you know, on a service that has a lot of shows and movies that I like, you know? Right now, I'm only sub to like two places, and that's Max, Hulu, and Amazon. Uh, two of those, I, you know, sub to the premium price, and one of them now is going to become an ad version. Listen, I only got Amazon Video because it came with Prime. Right, <laughs> like I that it's it's almost like you know just like oh here's a cookie after you buy this it's like all right this is this is kind of cool like Amazon Video it's pretty cool you know like whenever I buy my physical movies from Amazon uh you know I redeem my code and then you know Amazon Video would be the place where I watch it digitally you know um but that's about it you know like uh also you know the boys is cool that's it <laughs> like I'm not I'm not watching uh what's that what's the other show uh invincible you know i don't i don't give a shit about that like i only watched one season and i thought that was really you know below mid and there would be the rare occasion you would find gems in amazon prime you know like a lot of a24 movies are in amazon prime and you can watch it but now <laughs> after like I, I think it was like february now there's gonna be ads in it it's like wow um looks like i'm never watching any anything from amazon prime but yeah i think that's uh that's all i gotta say Hope you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me TikTok and Twitter so you can keep up to date on everything what I do, and uh, yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.